Hi guys and welcome to my channel. My name is Stacey. If anybody is new and joining me here for the first time, thank you so much. My slogan is Believable Brown Beauty. That doesn't mean you have to be brown to stay and participate. It is just an explanation of the makeup I do on this channel. I also do live Get Ready With Me's on Sunday mornings at 9.30 GMT. I always want to say GMTV. It's not GMTV. <laughs> I also do live Get Ready With Me's on Sunday mornings at 9.30 GMT. So I will leave my Instagram handle for you here and if you fancy hanging out, please come along. I also like to use makeup in slightly unconventional ways at times. So if that sounds like something you'd like, please keep watching. Today's video is a requested video and people have been asking me for a while to do a tutorial for people who wear glasses and I didn't like my old glasses and I was like oh, I'm gonna wait until I get my new pair and I found a pair that I love so I can now do this tutorial. I'm just gonna put a disclaimer here there's gonna be a lot of talking in the beginning because I feel that a lot of tutorials that I see for people who wear glasses are really generic and I feel like there needs to be a bit more explanation into how you decide to do your makeup to best um, suit your features. So there are a few things to take into consideration. The first thing to take into consideration is the frame. Now, if you have a really classic frame, like my frame, I'll put them on actually. Why don't I put them on whilst I do this talking bit? Right, yes. So if you have a really classic frame shape like mine um, and uh, quite a neutral color, I feel it gives you a bit more space to wear more color because there's not gonna be as much clashing. Um, if you have frames that are really, really like out there and really colourful, you may want to choose a more natural muted eye makeup. I also feel it depends on your your style and your character. I mean, Dame Edna Everidge's glasses were always crazy and she never had simple makeup. Um, so if you are somebody that has really crazy glasses, but then that's kind of your thing, then yeah, by all means go for it. But if not, maybe you want to strip that down a little bit. The second thing I would take into consideration is what do the lenses do to your eyes? Not everybody who wears glasses has the same result. Some people wear glasses and it makes the eyes look smaller. Some people wear glasses and it makes their eyes look bigger. That will also have a massive impact on how you do your makeup. I feel if your lenses make your eyes look smaller, maybe you want to do a bit more so your eyes don't look lost on your face. And if they make your eyes look much bigger, maybe do the opposite. Um, another thing I'd take into consideration is how is your face balanced? Like, are your eyes your strongest feature? If they're not, you may want to make your lips your feature. Also, what do you like about your face? If you don't like your eyes and you wear glasses, maybe you don't want to do makeup that emphasizes them. Maybe you want to stick to something that's more about cheekbones because you have great cheekbones or brows. It depends on you. Also, how often do you wear your glasses? Are you like me? Are you a part-time glasses wearer? I really only use mine for um, doing computer work, watching TV. I should use it when I'm on my phone, but I can't, I forget. If you wear glasses all the time, maybe you want to invest a bit more in designing looks for yourself, but if you are someone like me who doesn't really wear them that often or wears them quite casually, then maybe it's not that big of a deal how you do your eye makeup. Now I've got all that talking out of the way, I'm going to explain mine. Um, my glasses are a really classic shape, I love them. I looked for a pair like this for a very long time. I'm very happy with what I finally found. I think they really suit my face shape and I love the colour of them because they're a little bit unusual. So we're going to pretend for this tutorial that I wear glasses all the time. For me, I think my face is quite balanced and I do... F I feel like it's a toss up between my mouth and my eyes which, f which feature is the strongest. So. I could go either way. I could either do a really strong lip and a paired back eye or a really strong eye and a paired back lip. Um, if I was feeling really crazy, I could do both if I felt like it because there aren't really makeup rules, but there kind of are. I always find it difficult as the makeup passes because I do feel like there are some rules, but then other times I'm like, nah, do what you like. So anyway, I today am going to do an eye look. Obviously, I can't wear my glasses when I do this, so I'm gonna take them off and let's get into the makeup. First I'm going to go into foundation, I'm using my Cover FX Power Play, which I love. I think I say that in every video, every time I use it, but I do really like it. I'm just going to take a buffing brush and I'll whack that on. Then I'm taking some of my NARS Sheer Glow in Cartoon, just for the lower half of my face, just a little bit warmer. Before I forget, I'm going to brush up my brows. I'm taking my 24 hour brow setup from Benefit. And let's just brush up Struggalina and then the good brow. 
Moving on to concealer, I am using my NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer in Amand. No, I'm not, this is Cafe. Gosh, I was on autopilot then. This is Cafe. Amand is still a little bit too light for me at the moment. Give me a few more months when winter has really kicked in, then I'll be good to go. Just taking a little blending brush and just blend that away. Take a tiny bit of Amand in here. Just taking my foundation brush and buffing over or stippling. I hate people say buffing. This is buffing. Don't say that if that's not what you're doing. I watch other tutorials sometimes and they're like, oh, I'm just going to buff. This isn't buffing. This is stippling. I'm just going to stipple the edges of my concealer to make sure it's lovely and blended into the skin. Now we're going to move on to eyes. I'm taking this Chanel um, eyeshadow cream in the colour Mirage. And I'm just going to use my finger and put this on the lid. It's a really subtle gold cream shadow. You could wear this on its own if you didn't want to add too much. You don't want too much going on. So I'm going to use that as my base. I'm using my Nude on Nude palette, the bronze nude one from Bobbi Brown, because, you know, we didn't think I was only going to use this once in a video, did we? And I am going to take... Hmm. What am I going to take? Chocolate truffle. I really want to use copper chocolate. I'll show you. I'm going to take this colour here. I really want to use this one. That is my comfort zone. No, let's try this. So, taking a little brush. I'm going to use this mirror and not strain my eyes. Oh, that's pretty. Such a lovely colour. Then I'm going to take black chocolate, which is this coffee brown colour down here, and just add a little contour to the eye. You can hear that seagull, right? I live in zone two. What's it doing here? <laughs> I just realised that my hands are really dry, <laughs> really dry. So I'm going to pause here for a second and I put the moisturiser here so that I could actually put it on my hands and I forgot. We can resume. Next I'm taking a black coal pencil and just lining my lash line. This is one thing I would say. Everyone needs definition when they wear glasses, I think, because they create a barrier between you and the world. So you need to, I feel anyway, you need to put something around your eyes to make sure that people can still see you. So if you don't like your eyes and they're not a feature you want to play up, I would say at least wear like a really, really good mascara or maybe, and maybe a tiny bit of liner. You can make your liner softer. It doesn't have to be a pencil or a gel or a liquid. You can use like a really soft brown um, eyeshadow and just do a little bit of lash line definition so that when you put your glasses on, people can still see your eyes. I think that's really important. So yeah, just wanted to slip that in. I'll get back to this. And I'm gonna blend that liner in a little bit. Make it a bit smokier. And then I'm going to do my waterline. Do you know is my favourite thing to do, especially at six o'clock in the morning. And tight line as well. Something else I love. That is not for the faint-hearted. You know when it's just going too well and then you look down and realise you haven't hit record so I think gosh I can't even remember the last thing that I did right I think it was mascara extended play mascara first I like to use the lash primer top and bottom and then my in extreme dimension yeah in ex no yeah in extreme dimension 3d black lash just on my top lashes I think that's all I missed out oh and I've just set my face but if you watch my videos it's the same thing nothing's different I use my cover effects matte setting powder on the cheeks forehead and chin and then I use my Danessa Myricks evolution powder on my jawline 
forehead and then I kind of lightly sweep it over everything to make it mush together. <sighs> okay, so now I'm moving on to lips finally. I don't know what to do. I'm always torn between doing like something bold or something nude because they're pretty much the two worlds I live in. I don't really do the middle ground. I either do like a really natural lip or something really strong and I don't know what to do with this. Oh, let me put on my glasses and we can help decide. So let's have a look. See, I think that would look nice with a nude or a bold. Should I do both? Let's do both, I think. Yeah, let me do a nude one first. I pressed record that time. You'll be happy to know. Right, so I'm gonna do um, Plum Lip Pencil first from MAC, all over my lip. Then I'm taking this Beauty Pie Lip Gloss in Brown Sugar. Oh, I'm not gonna use the wand actually, because the lip pencil is going to change the colour of the whole product and I do not want that. So just to finish off this first look because you know we're going to change it, I can't help myself. I'm using Sweet as Cocoa Blush which is a blusher I haven't used for a really long time. I love that it's got a really subtle sheen built into it. I'm going to pop that on. Look at that, so pretty. There are some things from MAC that I will always, always love. Some things I'm just like, mm, that's a pass. But there are a few products that I actually love. How pretty is that? So nice. I'm gonna do a tiny bit of contouring just cause I feel like it. I'm gonna go back into my Sheer Glow Foundation and just carve out a cheekbone a little bit more. Use my finger here to blend that into the blush a bit better. Put my glasses back on. So this is the first look. Now for something more bold. So, off this lip goes. This seems to be like a theme at the moment. Like I have to do two lip looks in every video. It's just because I'm really indecisive sometimes and I wanna see what everything looks like. So, I'm gonna get Nightingale Lip Pencil from MAC and fill in my lip. is a really nice colour. I've never worn this lip pencil like this. Uh -huh. I don't think I've ever even used this before. Hmm. I love this lip. That's pretty. Okay. <laughs> I can't stop. Put my glasses back on. So this is it with um, Nightingale lip pencil on its own which I really like, never worn that before. So yeah, second lip. Then I'm gonna take my grenadine lipstick from Bobbi Brown and pop that over the top. Oh, that is gorgeous. Oh, I love this, so nice, okay. And then I'm going to take a tiny bit of um, Cyberworld lip pencil. Hopefully they still make this at MAC. And this is the final look. So, um, oh, I made a nice new lip discovery there. You can see, like, I'm really happy about that. I love this lip combo. So Grenadine is a lipstick that I used, I think in my last video, and it's much more red than this, but this is a testament to show you how much you can change a lipstick with a lip pencil. You don't have to have a new lipstick, you can just have lots of lip pencils and play with the way you layer them. So yeah, this is the final look. This is how I would do my makeup if I wore my glasses all the time. Um, like I said to you before, it depends on you as an individual. There are so many different factors. That was really fun to do. Yes, I know, it was really fun to do. I love that 19, 
I can't say it, but I love the pencil. Nine, nightingale, nightingale. Why is that so hard? Nightingale lip pencil from MAC. I love. It's a really cool pink tone. It looks beautiful on brown skin. I'm sure it looks nice on other skin, but I don't have other skin. My skin's brown and I think, I think it looks nice on me. So that's one that I am definitely going to be paying more attention to. Um, have fun with your makeup if you wear glasses. There aren't really that many rules. It's mostly about your style, how you feel and what you want to play up onto your features on your face. That is everything. Thank you so much for watching and staying to the end. Um, if you're not subscribed already, please subscribe and also hit the notification bell and I will see you on next week's video. Thank you, bye.